Sometimes, instead of going from a function to its Taylor series, we go backwards. And we define a function in terms of its Taylor expansion. With some functions, there may not be a simple definition otherwise. One example of this is a Bessel function. These are some really interesting functions that just can't be easily expressed in terms of standard functions, in terms of exponentials or trig functions or anything like that. Now, there are a lot of different types of Bessel functions out there. The simplest one is called J0. And J0 is most easily given in terms of its Taylor series. It is 1 minus x squared over 4 plus x to the 4th over 64 minus x to the 6th over 2,304 plus, well, it keeps going. But I wonder what that next term is. How do we get these coefficients? Well, this, of course, is best expressed through summation notation. J0 can be expressed as the sum, k goes from 0 to infinity, of negative 1 to the k, that makes sense, x to the 2k, that also makes sense, divided by 2 to the 2 times k, times quantity k factorial squared. Wow, where did that come from? That's so weird. No, that's not so weird. That's really the definition of this Bessel function. And it's really kind of difficult to define this function in other ways. Disclaimer, of course, there are multiple ways to define Bessel functions. Now, what does this function look like? Well, I mean, we could draw the graph, but let's think first. What do we observe? We observe that this implicates only even powers of x. That would mean, I think, that this is an even function as well. The signs in front of these terms appear to alternate plus, minus, plus, minus. This is reminding me a lot of a cosine function in terms of how its series looks. Now, of course, those denominators, hmm, that's different. And I think we're going to get something that maybe resembles a cosine function, but is deformed in some way. And indeed, if we graph this out, we see that this Bessel function, J0, does sort of look like a cosine function. It's, it's going up, it's going down, but it's not a periodic function like the cosine is. It's a, it's a little bit different, a little interesting, but Bessel functions, come on, who cares? Never heard of those guys before. Oh no, these are really pretty useful. They show up in lots of different physical systems. Here's one simple example. Let's say that you have a membrane, a circular membrane like a drum. If you strike that in the right manner, it sets up a nice radially symmetric wave. What the displacement looks like as a function of distance to the center is going to be a Bessel function of the form J0 times some sinusoidal function of time. But in terms of whether its displacement is up or down and how much, that is controlled by a Bessel function of the form J0. That's kind of cool. Now, there are other contexts where you will see these functions as well. We may talk about that a little bit later.